Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back aboard K206. We have intercepted the enemy carrier strike group in the English Channel, actually. Uh, so we have a new sonar contact bearing 238, designated Sierra 1. Our depth is 46 meters, heading 222, speed 10 knots. There's a very weak thermal layer at 111 meters. I have all of our ordnance loaded up here. I'm going to have one stallion just in case there's an enemy submarine with the carrier strike group. We also have one USAT-80, one Cheval, which can apparently only track surface ships, and then one MG-74 noisemaker. I have two kits loaded up and we'll probably fire those off as well as our P-700s and VLS. We're going to go ahead and close to 25 kilometers. It's currently at 7 o'clock in the morning. This is going to be interesting for sure. It doesn't tell us how deep it is in this area, but we'll find out. Okay. First things first, how deep? The floor is 291 meters. Okay. Rig for ultra quiet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is this where we are? Wow, that is nutty. But yeah, this is okay. This is something here. Okay, let's turn a little bit and try to figure out where these contacts are, what they are. Yeah, I, I think the probability of this happening in real life is mighty, mighty slim. <laughs> But nonetheless, we will proceed. Also, I think our chances of being sunk are... ...are very high here. Lots of contacts up to Sierra 7 now. Knox. Let's check these other contacts. Make sure there's no other Noxes here. But you know what they say. Maybe the, the best place to hide is in plain sight. Like our Oscar here. Jeez. That's wild. Force. No. I think this may be. I don't think actually. I thought this was our carrier for a second, but it is not. Oh my gosh, there's so many contacts. Sierra 10. What are you, Sierra 10? Let's go to just regular warships and start scanning. Okay. Cargo ship? Probably already passed it. There we go. Yeah, it's a merchant vessel. Sierra 9 is a merchant vessel. Sierra 2 is a merchant vessel. Let's just check all of these real fast. Okay, Sierra 4. No more merchant vessels. Let's go back to warships. Try to figure out what this fellow is. Oh wow, this is gonna be interesting. I could just blind fire all of my missiles now. I'm not sure what depth I have to be at to fire these off. Merchant ship? Okay. Lots of uh, neutral traffic in the area, which I, I suppose is not surprising whatsoever, uh, considering our location. Oil rig? Okay, so this is the strike group. I'm just trying to figure out. Sorry, this is tedious probably to watch, but okay. CR6, what are you? It's a very odd signature. Essex. Is there a late? Yes, I'm probably a late version. Okay. Okay, U.S. tanker. And U.S. fleet oiler. Okay, the escort's pretty light. Only one Garcia and one Knox. I think I sh I'll be able to make quick work of this uh, here. Let's see. I'm going to try to move for deeper water, however. I think that's going to be our best bet. Just so we have some room to hide in. And oh wow. I part of me part of me thinks it's not actually two hundred meters deep right here, but I mean maybe. I don't know. 
This is a interesting location. That's pretty cool though. We're just hanging out down here, right under the Brits' noses. Okay, we got a CRL 11. Let's figure out what that is. Did I just pass it? No, let's. Oh, Garcia. Okay, so there's three, three vessels, and I just saw a helicopter right there. Let's track that. Don't want to get too close. Make sure nothing else is flying around us. Okay, I think we're all right for the time being. Weapon depth. I'm not sure what the weapon depth for the P700 really means. I'm sure I can find out if I look at the manual. One second. <laughs> Okay, a brief check of the manual, and here we go. I'm not sure what the up arrow means. Uh, that was not in the manual, but this one, where the arrow is pointing horizontally, is uh, for the weapon to skim the surface, so I think that's going to be our best bet. And this is to have the weapon pop up. So we'll set it to skim. I'm not sure. I hope that's our best bet with these weapons. We will find out. I may do a mixture of it. I have a feeling I'm going to fire all 24 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. And uh, we'll run on home to rearm. Maybe not all 24. Maybe just 20. Is that overkill? I guess we'll find out. And you know what? I could fire now. I do want a better solution on one of these before I fire. I am slightly concerned about hitting one of these neutrals in the area. But if I end up hitting a neutral, I mean... Yes, it's a small price to pay. Uh, the oil rig is right in the line of fire, but I mean, that, that's not all bad. Uh, crippling NATO's oil supply is probably a benefit, if we're going to be honest. I'm also worried about my missiles just running right into it the land here, the land mass. So we're just going to keep on sailing around this this area. New contact, designated Sierra 12. Don't fire something. Okay, and we're actually getting a good solution here on a lot of these guys. Where's Sierra 12? Sierra 12's up here. Signature. So far, we have not picked up a submarine. Okay, a parry? It looks like it's... Uh, maybe not a parry. We'll plug in parry for the time being and as I scan. Yeah, I think parry's probably a safe bet. I guess I, I could have my missiles pop up. We'll wait, I suppose. There's no... What's the minimum range? Minimum range is 7.5 kilometers. And when they have a... Holy cow, a 500 kilometer... 500 some kilometer range why am I here <laughs> and fire these things from way farther away okay slowly getting out of here this I would fire now if this wasn't in the way and I wasn't concerned about um, them just slamming into the land mass there this may be a non-issue um, but I I don't know how it works. Like, do these missiles just pop up really high and then come down? That's what I would expect they would do. These guys... Alright, we're... We gotta fire. We gotta fire something. So, you know what? Yeah, there some of them are within minimum range. Okay. We'll just skim it. One... Here, I kind of want to. I kind of want to watch this, so we'll do it from here. <laughs> this is going to be interesting for sure. All right, one. Okay, yeah, skimming. Uh, you think that plane knows where I am? Start moving. Get that tow ray in. Drop down, drop down. Don't cavitate. Oh, we're already wrecking them. Fire a few more. The land is worrisome. Oh, yep. 
the land is a real issue. Okay, but we got quite a few. The oiler. Got the Essex. Okay, we gotta start hauling ass though. Drop down. Also, we want to counter fire on whatever this was. I have a feeling that was an enemy submarine that launched that torpedo, so I'm not going to take any chances. We're dropping a stallion right on it. And let's find the Essex. Oh, there she is. Okay. Obviously, the model does not represent an Essex-class uh, carrier. But, you know, that's fine. It's a placeholder. But at least we got it. We sunk a carrier. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And now we have definitely store, stirred up a hornet's nest here. Uh, let's see. We also got a fleet oiler, a Nox. Okay, so those missiles are effective. Got it. I guess that's why the NATO designation is shipwreck. I guess it's really living up to its name here. This one's been destroyed as well. Now we have that helicopter and all of these torpedoes start moving. Okay, another torpedo launch from... This is definitely a submarine. It just dropped a noisemaker. Okay, time to start hauling ass. Get down as deep as we can go. Drop a noisemaker. Okay, we gotta, we gotta move. It's probably a Mark 36 that's tracking us. I better hope, hope it is. Okay, we have number two coming in on us. It's going 30 knots. I don't want to fire. Risk of jamming. And look how close to the seabed we are. This is definitely where it's going to cause some issues. Let's ro load an MG-74, please. Also load another stallion after that. Got to make sure we don't hit the seafloor here. Okay, they're going for the MG-74. Beautiful. They are all going for it. Perfect. Perfect. That's, that's exactly what I want. This enemy submarine is definitely going to be an issue. We're not going to go active here, though. That's a death sentence for sure. It looks like our torpedo... Is this one of theirs? Yeah, this is a... Mark 46 heading for the sub's noisemaker. Interesting. Really interesting. Okay, so now our job is to put as much distance between us and these eels or fish as possible. What else is still floating? A Garcia, a Perry. That's it. Okay. And whatever this submarine is. Maybe I misidentified this US tanker here. That is a distinct possibility. Wonder how our little torpedo is doing. They have just blanketed the area with ASW torpedoes, though. Definitely a logical thing to do. I'm going to keep booking it. I see no reason to stop. <sighs> 60 meters below the keel. Okay, I want to pop this up. I do not want to hit the seabed. They're helicopters? Probably. I wish I could have watched those uh, P-700s land home, but I'm sure we'll get another opportunity. How many did I actually fire? I have 14 left? Wow, okay. So 20 definitely was overkill. And a large portion of those slammed into uh, the landmass there. I want to say a large portion, but you know, probably three or four actually. That last volley definitely did not go as intended. Can I still fire this deep? No, I have to be above 100 meters. Well, we'll slow down and get another listen here. Maybe I can take out the rest of these uh, targets. I am very curious about our torpedo. Um, so Mark 48. That Yeah, so, okay, there is a submarine in the area. It does confirm it. Look at this torpedo. Nice try. Is our torpedo gone? Not seeing ours. Oh, yeah, I don't see it. 
Maybe it is gone. Maybe it landed. Who knows? Okay. We'll keep running until these torpedoes run out of fuel. My, my main worry, though, is the aircraft and operating in the area. Those are going to be an issue. They decide to look this way. Still pinging, still messing around. There was another launch right there. And thank you for the comments telling me how to mark. I actually, oh, you shift click, shift left click to uh, mark on the map. I never knew that. I've played this game quite a lot, wishing that was a feature. And uh, lo and behold, it was a feature the entire time. So that is fantastic. So that was the general location of that last launch. It may have just been whenever we heard this torpedo. Yeah, that's very possible. Okay, there is active pinging. Okay, let's slow down. Down to probably 10 knots and we'll deploy our tow to ray. Let's come up a little bit as well. Get the safer conditions to deploy it. And let's turn on a heading of 300. Okay, got another launch right there. Possible launch. It may have just, that may just be where the torpedo landed. I'm sure the Perry and the Garcia are dropping torpedoes everywhere. Okay, US tanker is cavitating. Okay, so this was definitely a misidentification. Where is that tanker? Here it is. Signature, what are you? It's a sub. We know that much. Nautilus? Let's go with an LA. Yeah. Drop another stallion on it here momentarily. I wonder if our first one hits. I have no idea. Mm, Noisemaker. Launch transit from, yeah, Sierra 7 US tanker. Glad we cracked that case. Okay, we have a Garcia and a Perry that are heading this way. What's our depth come up? Uh, are we below the layer? We are below the layer. We'll pop up and hit these two with P700s. Oh, we have a good solution on the LA. Oh yeah, she was hit. We got her. She's operating on the surface, and that doesn't look healthy at all. Okay. In that case, come up above 111 meters, 91 meters, make my depth. I wonder if this is going to sink her. Uh-oh. Poor, poor LA class. I'm actually curious to see what will happen here. I've never seen this. I'm not sure how much the uh, the AI actually knows about landmass in this game. Like how they're pro... Oh, she's turning to evade it. Okay. Well, it's a little too late. Oh, yeah. What a, what a disastrous day for the U.S. Navy. All caused by one loaf. <laughs> okay. All right, we're at depth. Have it. Oh, gotta be above 47 meters. Okay. All right. All right. All right. 46 meters. Then. Rig for ultra quiet. Um, this is dangerous for sure. They're gonna know where I am once I fire. The giant geysers of water are a pretty good indication of. Uh, where the enemy submarine is that's launching missiles at you. However, if these torpedo or if these missiles land quick enough, their response won't be much of an issue. We're going to fire one at this uh, Los Angeles class. Let's see, we're currently at 53 meters, almost there. 
That P3 is flying around looking for us. I, I'm just trying to imagine the, the sheer amount of ASW assets in this area. It'd probably be more than one P3. <laughs> but we just gotta remember it is a game. Okay. LA class is still stuck. Oh, now we are at depth 46 meters. Let's go ahead and we'll probably just set it for here and I'll run straight to the target. Let's watch it. There it is. Look at that. It's going. I'm also going to go ahead and fire at the other two. I just want to watch this thing actually hit the sub. Okay, it's guiding in. And impact. No, it didn't hit. I may have to fire a torpedo at it then. That's unfortunate. We'll watch our other ones. Although that submarine is n a non-issue at this point. And it's not going to be able to do a whole lot. Okay, something fired. Let's get this boat on the move. Okay. Impact. And yeah, we got torpedoes dropping down on us. Okay, time to fire at this LA class. I hope I have this set up right. We don't want it running on the surface because I don't think that can pick up submarines. Uh, we'll see what we can do here. Yeah, I, I hope this will be sufficient to uh, hit our LA class, buddy. Okay, torpedo away. And we still have one parry that is still operational. We'll fire right here. Fire. Okay, time to drop. Get down. Down, 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 down. Let's find our missile. There it is. Look at that. That is a pretty mean looking missile. I, I got to admit. And they fly extremely quickly. I don't remember their exact speed, but it's pretty nuts. Look at this thing. And there we go. Got a hit. Perry breaking up. That's everything except our Los Angeles class friend here. And the helicopters operating in the area. And we managed. Oh, yeah, we didn't destroy a friendly or a neutral target in this engagement, so. Oh. We have that going for us. We'll see if this torpedo hits. Okay, Perry's breaking up apparently, but we already knew that. Heading for these deeper waters here. Here's our torpedo, running more or less towards the target. Hopefully I got all the settings correct here. Can't, oh, the submarine is, wow. I don't know if we're gonna be able to hit it. It does, is our torpedo guiding? Possibly, it's using, <laughs> the submarine's using active sonar, wow. Okay, it looks like it is going for it. Hopefully they abandon ship at this point. Uh, that submarine is certainly... There we go. Okay, Torpedo has acquired the Los Angeles class. And I think this will be a clean sweep. Wow. Okay, lost contact on it, but that's fine. Our torpedo is going in. So it seems like... Uh, maybe not all of the problems with these torpedoes, but part of them... These you said 80s was a uh, user error. Let's see if it hits it. There we go. Got it. Contact breaking up. Okay, and it's just interesting watching this, uh, watching it slide down here. 
Gonna oil slick. Wow. Oh, I think that is that is essentially everything. Yeah, it's just gonna keep on <laughs> keep on going down. It's actually really interesting to see uh, see this in the game. This is a first for me, for sure. I I doubt it's as interesting to a lot of you as it is to me. It's just the little things that I find interesting, like how it's just sliding down here. Okay, I've never seen. Uh, I guess I've never really seen a submarine lay on the seabed at like a 45 degree angle or anything like that. It's always just been straight up or down. Okay. And I think that's everything. Are we good to go? We're good to go. We can just leave. K206. Okay. On December 15th, 1984. Let's go ahead and leave combat. And we destroyed everything. Small fleet oiler, Los Angeles. Okay. It was not an Essex. It was an Iwo Jima. That's what it was supposed to be. Okay. Two Noxes and two Garcias. Total of 47,861 tons. Okay, well, overall, pretty darn cool if I do say so myself. Let's continue. Great job. The neutralization of the strike group has safeguarded the movement of our own fleet in the North Atlantic. Okay. Aircraft carrier under attack. An aircraft carrier strike group of the U.S. Navy located in the... Uh, English Channel, was subjected to a surprise attack. Stavka confirmed that several ships, including an aircraft carrier, were destroyed in a surprise attack. Details remain unknown, but the number of dead and missing is very high. Okay. Satellite and intelligence data indicate that NATO will attempt to resupply naval forces somewhere around the Arabian Sea via replenishment ships. A convoy of such ships is preparing to depart Buenos Aires. You are, your mission is to intercept and sink the replenishment ships before they can resupply NATO naval forces with munitions and provisions. All right, and that will do it. Let's continue on course and try to get out of here. Um, hopefully we can get out of here. I think we do have enough ordnance to continue with our mission and don't have to divert back to Mermance to rearm our boat. It was interesting to see the Oscar do what it really does best, and that is attack surface ships. Um, I got a lot of comments previously saying a lot of the submarine encounters I was uh, getting up here were kind of unrealistic because Soviet naval assets would have kind of swept the area clean for the Oscar. Unfortunately, there are no friendly units in cold waters. It's really just your lone boat, so that's not very possible with the game engine. But um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. As always, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.